To start, go to the stock materials and add a black background to the timeline. Go to the speed. Adjust duration to 12 seconds. Then go to the text tab, bring default text and adjust duration to match the black background. Type anything what you need. Choose a bold font. Then make a capital. Change color to black. Add stroke. Adjust stroke thickness to 10. And reduce opacity to 50%. Next, Bring another default text to the timeline. Type dot. Change color. Add glow. Move above the letter. Adjust size. Move the play cursor to the one second position and add a transform keyframe. Move the play cursor to the start position and move up and out of the screen. Right-click the text layer and select Show Keyframe Animation. Click to expand Y. Right-click the second keyframe, go to Graphs, choose Ease Out. Then, right-click the text layer, Hide Keyframe Animation. Move the playback cursor forward one second. Move a little to the upper right. Move the playback cursor forward one second again. Move a little to the lower right to the letter. Right click the text layer and select show keyframe animation. Click the third keyframe, choose auto curve. Right click the fourth keyframe. Go to Grass, choose Ease Out. Then, right click the text layer, Hide Keyframe Animation. Move the playback cursor forward three frames again. Add a transform keyframe. Move the playback cursor forward one second. Move a little to the upper right. Move the playback cursor forward one second again. Move a little to the lower right to the letter. Right click the text layer and select show keyframe animation. Click the fifth keyframe and choose auto curve. Right click the sixth keyframe and go to grass and choose ease out. Then, right-click the text layer and hide keyframe animation. At this point, add opacity keyframe. Move the playback cursor forward 10 frames and adjust opacity to 50%. Move the playback cursor forward 10 frames and adjust opacity to 100%. Repeat this until you are at about 8 seconds. and adjust opacity to 
Now, go to the bottom text layer and click split. Right click the second part and copy and paste the copy to the upper layer. Click the second part of the bottom text layer again. Change text color. Add glow. Adjust glow range to 60. Move forward for frames and click split. Click on the previous segment to make separate alphabets from the word written. Move the individual letters in the preview screen to match the original text letter position. Click split every four frames until you reach the 10 second position. Repeat the same operation for the other letters in the text. Now, add an opacity keyframe at the beginning of the last segment. Move the playback cursor forward one second. Adjust opacity to 100%. Move the playback cursor to the last position. Adjust opacity to 0%. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. Next, we move the play cursor to this point. Add the default text to the timeline again. Adjust duration to the beginning of the letter flashing. Next, go to the emojis website, search triangle. Click copy. Then go back to CapCut and paste it into the text box. Select the color. Add glow. Uncheck Uniform Scale, lengthen the height, and move the position as needed. Then, right-click to create a compound clip. At the beginning of the clip, rotate around the point to the left and add a transform keyframe. Move the play cursor to the middle of the clip. Rotate around the point to the right. Between the two clips, adjust the triangle position accordingly. Move the play cursor to the end of the clip and rotate around the point to the left. Similarly, between the two clips, adjust the triangle position accordingly. Next, go to the video mask, choose horizontal, 
Adjust the mask line position as needed and add some feathering. Go forward 3 frames from the start of the clip and add a mask keyframe. Go back to the start of the clip and adjust the mask line position to make the triangle invisible. Go back 3 frames from the end of the clip and add a mask keyframe. Go back to the end of the clip and adjust the mask line position to make the triangle invisible. Now, we have text motion graphics. Finally, let's add some sound effects. Sorry, I forgot something. That's it. I hope the video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.